All right, so today we're going to begin the unit on evaluating the domain. So this is day one. All right, so let's start with our learning goals. I can evaluate a function when given the value of x, and I can apply my knowledge of functions to solve a real-world problem. All right, so let's start off with what you used to see. So what you used to see is something like y equals 2x plus 1. What you're going to see from now on is f of x equals 2x plus 1. So the only thing that changes is we're changing the y, and we're saying that f of x is basically the same as y. So the only thing that's different is we're saying f of x, and that's how you say this right here, f of x. All right, so we call that function notation. It's just another, f of x is just another way of saying y. All right, so whereas you'd be used to seeing y equals 3x plus 2, now you're going to see f of x equals 3x plus 2. All right, so again, this is read f of x, and what you need to be careful of is that it is not f times x. So just because you see that parentheses there doesn't mean you're doing f times x. It means f of x. Remember, it's replacing the y. All right, and again, so instead of saying substitute 3 for x in this, so let's say I asked you how to solve this. The problem would say, um, how would you solve it? And you'd say, oh, you just substitute you know, 3 for x. So when x equals 3, and we plug it in, and we get our answer. So you'd say, when x equals 3, how do you get this? And again, you'd say substitute that. We're not doing this anymore. Now what we're doing is we're going to say evaluate f of 3. And what that means is we're going to take our original problem and instead of, notice how this is in place of the x. So that means that we're going to take x in the problem and we're going to put 3 in for it. So you're doing the exact same thing except now we write f of 3 equals 3 times 3 plus 2 and that 3 is going in for the x. So whatever this number is goes in there. And then 3 times 3 is 9 and then add the 2 you still end up with 11 except now we're going to say f of 3 equals 11 which means that uh, we evaluated f of 3 came up with an answer of 11. So in this example evaluate f of 3 for f of x equals negative 2x minus 3. So all we're going to do is write that f of 3 again, negative 2 times 3, because it's negative 2 times x, minus 3. So f of 3 equals negative 9, because this here is negative 6. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. Negative 3 minus 3 is negative 9. Second example. Sound travels about 335 meters per second. The function d of t equals 335t. Gives the distance d of t in meters that the sound travels in t seconds. How far does the sound travel in 9 seconds? So what we're going to do is we're going to take, and this is t seconds. So our variable is t. We want to know how far the um, sound traveled in 9 seconds. So we know that this 9 is going in for t because it's time. So 335 times 9, just write it d of 9. So anywhere you see a t in this, we're rewriting it with 9. So d of 9 equals 3,015 meters. Pretty simple. All right, last example. Kitty pool holds 80 gallons of water. Notice the hole is developed at the bottom, of, and water is escaping at a rate of 8 gallons per hour. How many gallons will be in the pool? after three hours and we want to also show how we arrived at the answer so we've got to show all our work so first things first before we solve this we need to think about it we've got water escaping at a rate of eight, eight gallons per hour so we have a pool that has 80 gallons but water is escaping which means that we're losing water so we're going to be subtracting eight okay and we want to find out how many gallons will be after three hours so we need to set up our, we can set up a table is one way of doing it. So basically subtract eight for each hour. So add zero hours, always want to include this, always want to have that first one. We have 80 gallons of uh, water in there. And it says water is escaping at a rate of eight gallons per hour. So after one hour is gone, we've subtracted eight to get to the next one. After two hours, we subtracted eight to get to the next one, which is 64. 
And then finally, after three hours, we subtract eight again to get our answer of 56. You could also write an equation, um, but we're going to get into that a little bit later. For now, I think a table might be the easiest way to do it. If you would like to try and set up an equation, then by all means do so. In fact, go ahead and try and see if you come up with the same answer of 56 once you set up that equation and then evaluate it when you use 3 for x. And that's it. All right, guys. Uh, you guys have a good one. Take good notes and come in with any questions.